So I was just in the process of uh, doing some work on my perfume cabinet and I realized that maybe I should be filming this because, I don't know, people might be interested. I think I would be interested in this sort of thing. So effectively the story is I'm rearranging my perfume cabinet because A, I want to fit more plants in here and B, I don't want all of my perfumes on display behind me when I'm on a Zoom call. And lately I've been having some issues with my internet, which means that I haven't been able to use the virtual backgrounds because it just chews up too much bandwidth. So I'm trying to remove some of my perfumes from my perfume cabinet and put more plants in just to make it look a little bit more normal. So this is what we're doing. And I realize I look like a bit of a mess, but we just went for a bike ride and it is so humid today. So before I sort of had a shower and got all clean, I thought I might do this dirty work because it's probably gonna get a bit hot and I didn't want to have a shower and then have to have another one. So sorry about my appearance, <laughs> but we'll see how we go. Right, so first of all, I'm gonna show you the empty shelf that I just emptied out. So I missed filming that bit. And then I'll show you the bookshelf that I use and um, where some of the perfumes are going to go because that bookshelf, even though it's behind me also, or behind me when I'm sitting at my desk, it's lower down so you can't really see it. And then we're gonna put some plants in as well. Okay, so this is a, a huge mess. I'm, I'm very well aware of that. Uh, so we've got some plants up here. These plants have pretty much been living here uh, the whole time although that uh, plant stand is new and that plant holder is new but otherwise these plants have pretty much been living in here for months and you've probably seen them in my youtube videos before um, if we move down just ignore that open shelf there i have started putting some of my guerlain fragrances on this shelf and there's some initio and some illy saab and then you know obviously this bookshelf is where i would was keeping all of my perfume books and can scented candles and things. So I don't know where I'm, what I'm gonna do with the scented candles. I'll have to find another place for them. I use a lot of candles. So I usually stock up on them when I can or when they're on sale. And this is the empty shelf that I've just made. And I'm not sure um, if I'm going to try and scatter perfumes sort of throughout the perfume cabinet. It's all a bit of a mess at the moment. These shelves are okay, but the one down the bottom is a mess. Uh, but I was thinking I might want to try and scatter the plants throughout the shelves, but they might be too big actually, so I might not be able to do that. And then obviously whatever doesn't fit in here once the plants go in, I will have to put down in the bookshelf. Yeah, I'm really just trying to find some ways to hide my perfume collection from uh, my work colleagues. <laughs> Ideally, one day I would really love to have a cabinet that is enclosed, like a proper, like a wardrobe, I guess, uh, with, you know, uh, solid doors that you can close and everything is out of sight. I don't actually, when I first set this up, I thought, oh, this is really nice, but I've come to realize I don't actually like having my perfumes on display. It just looks like so cluttered. Anyway, but this is the shelf that I have. I'm just trying to make use of what I've got for the time being. There's not a lot of space in this house. You know, I just want to, I don't want to go out and buy new furniture. We're going to be moving in a few months time, maybe. I don't want to go and buy new furniture now only to discover that, you know, whatever I buy doesn't work in the new place. My Guerlain fragrance collection actually lived on this shelf before and then I moved it up onto that other cabinet thinking that I would use them more if I could see them really easily. But the fact is I know what's here. So I don't think them being in this cabinet actually prevents me from being able to use them. I think it's just that I had a period of time where I really wasn't gravitating towards them. I'm just gonna get on with it now and put some more perfumes over here and then see how we go. And then I'll just give you a recap once uh, it's done. Okay, so, um, oh, that's my candle. <laughs> I just realized I told you all that I'm obsessed with scented candles and then I wasn't actually burning one. So I just lit that because we're home for the rest of the evening now. So I can actually light a candle without it being too much of a bother. Uh, this is the Carrier Frere. I don't know how you say it properly, 
but this is the tomato one and it is so so good it's one of my favorites from the line these are really not that expensive either and this one i've had this for months um, they're pretty good value i think and uh, anyway the fragrance is beautiful it's just really fresh and sort of green but it does have that sort of tomato leaf scent to it as well which is just gorgeous realize this is jumping around a little bit but hopefully it's not too hard to follow i've just thrown a few more perfumes down here there's a few designers a couple of niche and um, my beautiful shangri-la which is still in its box because it's very very special and so that's what the perfume shelf is looking like at the moment i'm thinking of maybe putting a couple more behind the shangri-la but i'll show you the other cabinet okay so i just discovered the widescreen <laughs> the widescreen lens wide angle lens on my iphone so that's pretty cool up here on the top shelf this is what it's sort of looking like at the moment um i put my philodendron mycans which has just come back from quarantine because i bought him from a a department so from bunnings basically which in australians will know what that is but if you're not in australia it is basically a massive department store for you know homeware hardware and garden stuff um, which is fine the stuff is cheap i try not to buy there from too often but um it the stuff the plants are cheap but you've sort of got to be a bit careful when you bring them home because sometimes they have pests and you have to quarantine them. This is a little, I think it's a devil's ivy. I can't remember, I propagated this one and I'm assuming, I'm, pre, I'm pretty sure it's a devil's ivy. Um, that leaf is just damaged because it was outside. Um, I think that leaf was damaged when I propagated it actually. That might've been the very the leaf that I propagated it with, but it's, um, it's coming along nicely. He's very happy here. There's a few little things that have eaten it but that again that was from when it was outside i brought it in a few weeks ago and he seems to be doing just fine up here he's even got some new growth see and then i thought i might put my amazing christian dior fragrances here because they were initially over there behind my chanel's which made it kind of difficult to get to them and i mentioned in an earlier video that i haven't really been wearing my ombre nui so i thought maybe if i put it out and read it easy to grab i might wear it more and then this one is a heart leaf philodendron which i've had for a little while now and i wanted the heart leaf philodendron on the top shelf because the idea is that it will start to drape down and then drape down this way i don't expect it'll get that big <laughs> in the time that we will still be living here but you never know you never know um i need to get a nice little cover pot for it to make it look pretty but I've run out of cover pots so these are just going to be sitting in their nursery pots on the shelf for now until I'm ready and then I also have this Adansonii which I originally had put up on the top shelf but because it's got this uh, one that's coming up a bit higher I thought he's wanting to climb so I might put some little clear hooks on the bookshelf here and then allow it to sort of grab on and so he can climb up and then he, he'll climb up to the top which will look really nice i think and then i've got my base candle which actually previously did not have a home so now he has a home okay so i forgot to film this last night but this is effectively the end result down there i have some trudon sia trudon candles that were originally over in the bookshelf and here I have my Peperomia, who's looking a little bit sad, so um, he's in rehab at the moment, and I thought this might be a good spot for him. And then over here I have my Shangri-La Philodendron, just a little baby one, so still growing. I moved my Adansonii up to this shelf, which is where my Ormond Jane fragrances were initially, and I just liked how he filled the shelf a little bit better than he did down there and that's a bigger pot so it feels a bit better and then he can climb up that way still and then um, my Ormond Jane fragrances I know I wear so I can leave them down here and not feel like they need to be at eye level and yeah that's pretty much it so that's how it ended up looking. I'm pretty happy with it actually. It doesn't look quite so intensely perfumey as it did before. Okay, so I changed my mind once more. Um, 
the reason being that this shelf here is the shelf that people most see in well these two shelves actually other shelves that people most see in my background when I'm on a video conference call so I decided to move one tray of the perfumes down to the next level and then just keep more plants on this one so they sort of hide the perfumes a little bit more and yeah that's uh that's pretty much it so as i said those two shelves are the ones that are mostly at eye level when i'm on a zoom call because my my desk is over there so there you have it